It is. And, you know, sometimes it's the simple things that make the biggest difference. You know, this is not something to restore vision to these kids. It's about giving them back their mobility so they can explore the world. That's how toddlers learn. But that's hard to do when you can't see. For a visually impaired person, a cane is what gives them mobility and a measure of safety as they navigate the mostly unseen world around them. But toddlers don't have the physical dexterity or attention span to learn to use a cane effectively. So their exploration of the world around them becomes a bruising experience. Not surprisingly, visually impaired toddlers become hesitant to move around. If you can't move around safely, you don't move. And when you don't move, you stop learning. And it leads to language delays, motor delays, concept delays, and of course, social skill delays. That was the case with little Leah Dunlop. The three and a half year old with beautiful blue eyes suffered a stroke right after birth that left her with very little vision. She could trip very easily um, and she doesn't always know which direction to go to. Too young to use a cane, but anxious to explore. The solution, this deceptively simple, ingenious device dubbed a toddler cane. It has a waistband, so the child wears it right above the hips. It's so lightweight, even a toddler can easily maneuver it. We watched as Leah took on the uneven sidewalks in Brooklyn. For me, just not to have 100% worry all the time, but be able to enjoy the walk with my daughter is great. Even more important than not falling is how the toddler cane helps children develop. Their language improves as they are less stressed out. Their posture becomes more erect and they're more social. It's reducing that stress of the unknown. And it looks like it's work for Leah. Hey. <laughs> Now, the toddler cane we saw is a prototype. The developers are still improving it, but it is available online. So for more information, you can go to our website at cbsnewyork.com. And this was all actually developed right here locally at Hunter College and the engineering school up at CUNY. So it's all a, oh, wow. a local product, but they're shipping it already all over the world for people who are interested. It's one of those inventions where you go, of course. Uh, yeah, exactly. Why didn't we think of that before? Yeah. It's, it's brilliant. And it's unbelievably lightweight, so these little kids have no problem with it at all. Yeah. It's really cool. Is it really expensive? Any, any word on that? It's all, I mean, it's not going to be that expensive, yeah. but it's all still a prototype. So, sure. you know, they're still pricing it out and getting somebody to then mass produce it. Yeah. Well, hopefully we Fantastic. can keep it affordable. Thank you, yeah, Dr. Max. You bet.